Hey, this is Eddie with A Mindful Emergence, and I'd like to share with you in this video about a meeting that I had almost 30 years ago with Mother Teresa, where I had an opportunity to speak with her. And I'm also going to talk a little bit about how that impacted me and what I needed to do uh, as a result of that. So A Mindful Emergence is Margaret's and my um, intention to provide mindfulness, movement, and breathing practices to support you in getting more out of your life by accessing the inner resources within you that you already have. And you can find out more about us by going to our website, and you'll see the link in the description below. So almost 30 years ago, I went to India, Nepal, and Bhutan for six weeks on a spiritual pilgrimage. And um, part of that was going to southern India. And on my way, I went through Calcutta. And I went out for a walk and I ended up going to Mother House, completely unexpected, uh, showing up there, going in and meeting Mother Teresa. And I actually have proof. I don't know how well you can see these pictures. But this is a, a photograph I took with of her. Uh, she came out and spoke with me and we had a conversation and you'll see there's something in her hands, uh, which we'll get to in a moment. But after we spoke for a while, she consented to let me take her photograph. And that was one that you saw. Here's another that I took and there's another hope you can see it okay. And then there's a card. And that was what was in her hand. And the card says, the fruit of service is prayer, the fruit of prayer is faith, the fruit of faith is love, the fruit of love is service, and the fruit of service is peace and it says Mother Teresa on it. So this was a really interesting experience for me because I was raised Catholic and never really resonated with that particular tradition. In fact, I went to Asia as a practicing Buddhist and spent most of my time there at uh, various retreat centers. For example, when I was in Bhutan, I went to a very famous place called Taksan or Tiger's Lair, which has been used as a retreat center for about a thousand years people doing three year, three month, three day retreats there. So in my span of time, I was immersed in a lot of different places where there was very profound energy of people doing spiritual practice. I sat with a number of spiritual teachers and surprisingly to me, Mother Teresa was one of them. And the impact was so dramatic for me after I spoke with her that when I went back to the hotel, uh, my friend at the time, my girlfriend, as I walked in, she looked at me and she said, what happened? I must have floated in. And for months and months afterwards, I have difficulty talking about it because the experience uh, at some level really penetrated and deeply impacted me. And I might do another video and go into more detail about this meeting with Mother Teresa at some point. But I want to transition now to another point. When I came back from this six weeks in Asia, going to these different places and meeting her, I found that life was very difficult. You would think maybe it would be the opposite, that you know I would just be floating on air and everything would be great. But I was having what I later came to understand was a spiritual emergency. And this is very uh, common among uh, individuals, and there's a number of reasons why this uh, can arise. And I invite you to check out other videos on our playlist that's Spiritual Emergence, Spiritual Emergency. Margaret in particular has done uh, several videos on describing what it is, what the difference is between emergency and emergence, uh, spiritual transformative experiences, um, and so on. So check out those other videos. And also I put a link uh, where you can go to our website and you can get more information on there and even schedule a consultation with us if you feel like it's something that uh, you can relate to, perhaps an experience that you're going through. But my life was 
I, I struggled. I couldn't watch TV. I couldn't listen to music. I was extremely sensitive. I really didn't want to go out and do a go out in public. Uh, I had an ongoing meditation practice where I would do sitting practice. Couldn't do that. I ended up having to do movement, dynamic meditation, dancing like that, because there was so much energy in me that I couldn't process. I hadn't been able to integrate this experience and make meaning of it. In fact, my life had sort of a sense of pointlessness to it. It's like, why am I here? What am I doing? What's this all about? And this is very, very characteristic of being in spiritual emergency. And I even thought I was losing my mind. But um, later I understood that this is just symptomatic of being in spiritual emergency. But here's what happened. So imagine I'm going through life and I'm going, why am I here? What's the point? It was this deep existential crisis, this deep sense of angst. It's like, what's going on? What's the point? So one day, and this went on for weeks, one day I walk into a grocery store and I went up to the checkout line and there was a woman in front of me who was getting rung up and was paying and she was kind of abrupt and not really particularly nice to the cashier. And I looked at the cashier as I was waiting and I could see that she was almost in tears. Probably wasn't the only incident that day that she had found to be difficult. And the woman was very brusque and paid and stormed off. And I walked up, she had a name tag and I don't remember her name, but let's say it was Jennifer. So I paused and I, I looked at her and I said, Jennifer, are you okay? Are you, are you okay? And she just, I'm getting emotional every time I tell this story. So she looked up at me and made eye contact. And then she smiled just a little bit and she goes, I'm okay now. What happened? What happened for her was that I had been willing to acknowledge her as a human being and make a connection. And for her, it was a connection on a very deep level. It's like, yeah, this person is here for me. And there was this little smile and we did the transaction and there was the have a nice day and I left. And I don't know how the rest of her day went, but I have a sense that maybe it went better just because of me asking her that question. And for me, in that moment, it was a profound shift because I realized that that was the meaning, that was the point of life, is I could connect with another human being, acknowledge them, express kindness, express compassion, and make a difference in their life with just a simple question, a simple gesture. And as I left, I continued to reflect on that, and I journaled on that, on that and I started seeing and feeling a shift for me. And uh, I was able to come out of that sort of spiritual funk that I was in. And uh, sometimes it's just the simplest little things like that can make a difference. So anyway, I hope that you found value in that story, in this video. And uh, you know, if you liked it, make please make a comment. Uh, love to hear comments, certainly like the video and share it with others if you'd like. And of course, reach out to us if you'd like to have a conversation with us about this or what we do. Thanks for watching.